Hello, everybody. I am Asad Zaman Biswas. I came again to discuss something about JavaScript. I was talking in my previous lecture about JavaScript loop. Today, I like to give an example of uh, JavaScript loop. Uh, today, I like to discuss about prime number. Prime number actually prime number means if we divide a number by one or by that number itself only in that case the remainder is zero and for rest other numbers uh, if we divide with the rest of the numbers in that case uh, there will be some remainder this type of number is for your prime number suppose if suppose 5 if you divide 5 by 5 or divide this 5 by 1 only in that case the remainder is 0 but from uh, <coughs> 2 to if you divide 5 by 2 if you divide 5 by 3 if you divide 5 by 4 in each case uh, there will be some uh, reminder so you can say 5 as prime number right similarly if you talk about 7 look the 7 is uh, only uh, if you divide 7 only by 1 or by 7 itself in that case uh, you will get remainder 0 but uh, from 2 to 6 if you divide any number uh, from 2 to 6 by 7 uh, in that case obviously you get some uh, reminder if you divide 7 by 2 you will get reminder 1 if you divide 7 by 3 you will get reminder 1 if you get uh, 7 by 4 you will get reminder 3 if you divide 7 by 5 you will get reminder 2 that means if you get divide 7 by 6 in that case you will get reminder 1 that means in each case you are getting some reminder but if we divide 7 by 1 or by 7 itself only in that case the reminder will be 0 this sort of number is known as your prime number now we will make a program using JavaScript which will determine the given input is prime number or not. So, uh, for input, we will make a prompt box, right? So, in the prompt box, we will write this level, enter the number, okay, fine, keep the text box blank okay and keep the input inside the variable and uh, variable give its name now suppose now what we will do we will determine the given input is your prime number or not right so uh, we will start our loop uh, from 2 we will start our loop from 2 because 1 and 2 actually uh, these two numbers are we need not to judge these two numbers because 1 is divisible by 1 and 1 is divided by itself if you divide 1 by 1 in that case the remainder will be 0 so 1 and 2 actually um, determination 1 and 2 actually in case of your prime number these are out of discussion so we will start from 2 right <coughs> so ok great so uh, we will use here while mm, ok fine so the loop will continue until it is less than the given input right then this is the starting of while loop and this is the end of while after each execution of 
this block of code inside while loop, I will be implemented by one. Right. So what we will do here, we will divide. We will divide this input by we will divide this input by i and if we get reminder zero in that case this is not a prime number right in that case uh, in that case so what we will do in that case uh, we can say mm, this we can say this what we can say lot that the given number the given input is not a prime number right? it's not a prime number okay now and we can take one thing that is we can take a variable that is flat and uh, I will keep inside this variable zero. And in case if the if the we get this reminder zero, then we will change the value of flat to flat to one and then uh, we will write break to terminate this while loop right okay fine now what we'll do this is the end of while uh, while loop after if after execution of while loop the value of this flag variable uh, remain zero that means that means what does it mean it means the number is not divisible the number is not divisible by any number any number which is uh, less than the uh, given number that means from starting from 2 to the um, to the number uh, to the to all the numbers less than the given inputs are not divisible not divisible that means in every cases we got remainder so uh, this flag uh, never, this flag does not become one that means the value of flag does not change it remain as it was that means it was zero and after execution of the while loop it also remains zero that means obviously in that case the given input will be a prime number so we will display in that case the given input is a prime number. Okay, so let us save it. And go to output. Okay, we give any number five. The given number is prime number. Okay, and if we give here the input six, the six is so if we divide six by two, then the remainder will be zero. If we divide three six by three, the remainder will be zero. That means we are getting and um, if the number of uh, the, the two three these numbers are divisible the six is divisible by two or two, both by two and three that means if we divide this six by two we will get zero if we divide six by three we will get zero so six is obviously is not a prime number right so here we are getting this the given input is not a prime number okay so this is the example of for to determine the given input is prime